I grew up in this neighborhood. My dad has gotten his hair cut at Head & Soul my whole life. Both my grandparents lived around the corner. Um, so the neighborhood itself is really near and dear to my heart and has been part of my upbringing. I think a lot changed downtown, um, but there are a lot of neighborhoods that haven't changed, you know? Some of these are buildings that I've been riding past and seeing my entire life, and they've been vacant for you know, most, if not all of that time. So the opportunity to really be a part of activating those spaces and making them assets in the community um, is really, really exciting. The whole building's about 1,400 square feet. This project, the Keizu Station project, is the first construction project in the bigger Boston Square Together development to launch. It was a former auto body shop and, and car sales shop. We are kind of gutting it reconfiguring it to be set up for a commercial kitchen and get a lot of different entrepreneurs in here and as we kind of get the users settled into the space and they have their feet underneath them as businesses we'll expand into takeout services and a cafe option so we'll get all kinds of nice sunlight coming in here so the focus on boston square and and overall 49507 is because we know that these are areas that were really intentionally adversely affected by housing policy and redlining and so you know we want to work intentionally to rectify that. Food businesses are um, a big entry point for a lot of entrepreneurs, especially entrepreneurs of color and, and uh, women. We also heard from neighbors that they were just looking for diverse food options in the neighborhood. We received a grant from Michigan Department of Agriculture. Part of that funding will go to Southeast Market to help subsidize the cost of produce and dry goods for the entrepreneurs that'll be working out of this building. Traditionally, you know, they're running a tight ship. They're not always able to source locally. So that'll allow them to purchase some of those products from Southeast Market, kind of further the economic food chain, if you will, of, of black and brown and indigenous and women-owned farmers throughout the state. Anytime that we're able to increase access for local businesses to get affordable local food, that's a win. So we're really happy to to be able to provide that to them. You know, it really is a diverse neighborhood and folks want to keep that. They really cherish the, the culture that is here. So we want to make sure that as we're bringing things like Kezu Station, that it's rooted in and, and for the neighbors who are in this community and who have been in this community. We have had several community meetings over the years with neighbors pouring into the design process. We worked really closely with neighbors on naming this project. Great food and great schools and great parks, um, those are things that everybody wants. This neighborhood deserves those things just like any other neighborhood in our city. Mm -hmm.